If you're happy to spend over a thousand dollars on a smartphone in 2020, these would probably be the top three picks, but how do they perform in Geekbench 5? We have the OnePlus 8 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, and iPhone 11 Pro Max here to compare in a Geekbench 5.2 race. We have updated the softwares on all of the devices over here, and we have 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM on the Android phones and four gigs of LPDDR4 X RAM on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We have Snapdragon 865 processing chips in the OnePlus 8 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra here run on 7 nanometer plus technology and they are indeed octa-core chipsets. We have an A13 Bionic chipset also run on 7 nanometer plus technology. It is indeed a 6 core chipset seen in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The two Android phones here are both rocking 120 hertz panels which we're going to leave enabled over here and they both have AMOLED displays while the iPhone is stuck to 60 hertz and comes with an OLED display. I have dropped the resolution on the OnePlus 8 Pro to 1080p to match that of the S20 Ultra since the S20 Ultra cannot run native 1440p and 120Hz at the same time. The iPhone 11 Pro Max cannot be changed so it is stuck to 1242p. We're going to be using GameSpace and Fnatic mode to open up Geekbench on the OnePlus 8 Pro. We're going to enable high performance mode on the S20 Ultra and run Geekbench 5 through the game launcher. There are no performance mode options on the iPhone. As you guys can see we have the latest Geekbench 5.2.0 version on all three devices. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're going to start here with comparing battery percentage and degrees in Celsius in the beginning of the test. Take a look here for a brief second, we'll compare this again at the end of the test. When it comes to comparing CPU in degrees Celsius at the start of the test here, the iPhone is unknown because I cannot seem to find a CPU temperature measuring app within the App Store. Let me know if you guys have found one in the comment section down below. But as for now, the OnePlus 8 Pro is slightly hotter than that of the S20 Ultra. We'll compare these stats at the end of the test once more. We're going to go ahead and start the CPU benchmark on all three devices to test out multi and single core performance. When it comes to single core performance, the iPhone comes out on top with a 1,332 points here. Second place is the OnePlus 8 Pro with 910 points. And last place is the S20 Ultra with 893 points. This is very interesting considering the single core performance on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The clock speed is actually quite a bit less then the core clock speeds on the Snapdragon 865 powered OnePlus 8 Pro and S20 Ultra. But bear in mind that it is a hexa-core on the 11 Pro Max as opposed to octa-cores on the other two phones. And in my opinion, based on PC performance runs that I have done in the past, sometimes an i5 processor can perform better in the single core category than i7 processors. When it comes to multi-core performance, the OnePlus 8 Pro comes out on top with 3,308 points. Second place, not far behind the S20 Ultra with the same Snapdragon chipset, 3,216 points. And in last place, the iPhone 11 Pro Max with 2,698 points. Much further down the line there for the iPhone, but remember we are running hexa-core, so now testing out the multi-cores. The lightning and thunder chips that we see in the iPhone don't seem to be as powerful as the Cairo chips that we see in the Snapdragon 865 variants of the 8 Pro and S20 Ultra here when running a multi-core bench. Benchmark. We're going to go ahead here and run the GPU compute benchmark on all three devices. We have a default of OpenCL on the two Android devices. This is not an option for the iOS device that we have here. So we're going to change the Android ones to Vulkan to match the Metal API that we're rocking on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Metal as well as Vulkan are very similar. Vulkan is pretty much the top dog when it comes to APIs in an Android device and Metal is the top dog when it comes to iOS. So I still personally think that Metal does a much better rendering job when using GPU when playing games or running benchmarks such as this. And as you guys can see when running Vulkan, third place comes the OnePlus 8 Pro 2,823 points as opposed to quite a bit more 3,038 points on the S20 Ultra, definitely beating the OnePlus 8 Pro when it comes to Vulkan. But Metal is streaks ahead 
more than double here, 7,320 points for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which came in first place here. And this just shows why iPhones always seem to run games a lot smoother and better than Android devices because of its current API, which is Metal. I hope to see Metal coming to Android devices soon, though Vulkan is catching up quite rapidly. At the end of those two runs that we did, CPU and GPU benchmarks, we got a bit of a battery drain here. Now bear in mind it did take 15 minutes, but it didn't take a whole 15 minutes to run both tests. Of course, between the tests, I was checking out the scores and comparing the differences here. So it took 15 minutes from the last time we checked the percentage as well as the degrees in Celsius to this point now. So after 15 minutes, we got a drain of 5% on the 8 Pro, 3% on the S20 Ultra, dropping the least over here, but it does have the biggest 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And the worst is the minus 6% on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. When it comes to milliamp hours per minute, the S20 Ultra stays top dog here, just draining by 10 milliamp hours per minute. The calculation is on the left of the screen. Feel free to pause here to check how I calculated the milliamp hours per minute. Second place here was 15 milliamp hours per minute for the OnePlus 8 Pro. And of course, the smallest battery of the bunch here is the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the biggest drain of 15.9 milliamp hours per minute. But though the OnePlus 8 Pro does have quite a bit of a bigger battery than the iPhone, there isn't much of a difference when it comes to battery drain here. When we speak about battery degrees in Celsius at the end, the hottest phone here is the OnePlus 8 Pro with 38.6 degrees Celsius. The coolest one is the iPhone 11 Pro Max with 32 degrees Celsius. It didn't actually gain any extra degrees over here. The S20 Ultra only added 2.5 degrees Celsius and was in the middle with 36.7 degrees Celsius. And the OnePlus 8 Pro added the most amount of heat here, adding 2.8 degrees Celsius to the battery. When it comes to CPU in degrees Celsius at the end of the test here. It is unknown for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so it is not applicable as I mentioned earlier. But when it comes to the two Android devices, the OnePlus 8 Pro was the hottest here with 42 degrees Celsius, coolest being the S20 Ultra with 37 degrees Celsius, five degrees cooler than that of the OnePlus 8 Pro. But when we speak about adding degrees in Celsius, we added three degrees in Celsius, adding the most on the OnePlus 8 Pro and just two degrees Celsius on the S20 Ultra. So they both seem to heat up about the same, just one degree Celsius between the two phones here. Now we might not have an open CL option on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but I just thought that with the battery percentage and degrees in Celsius on battery and CPU aside, we're gonna go ahead and run an open CL GPU compute benchmark on these two Android devices over here. Comparing results at the end over here, the OnePlus 8 Pro actually did a better job than the S20 Ultra in open CL. This is more comparable to DirectX 11 graphics, which is something that we don't really see in iPhones. The iPhone is still rocking pretty similar to DirectX 12 Metal over here. So I'm using the previous result with 7,320 points. The Samsung was the lowest when running OpenCL over here with 3,117 points as opposed to the OnePlus 8 Pro's 3,194, but not much of a difference over there. Comparing them to the Vulcan, you can see that they have improved quite a bit there, especially when it comes to the OnePlus 8 Pro. As for the highest awards on all devices, the OnePlus 8 Pro got awarded the best multi-core CPU score when running the benchmark. The S20 Ultra only got second best accolades here with the second best multi-core CPU and the second best Vulkan GPU run. Remember that the OnePlus 8 Pro actually beat the S20 Ultra when running OpenCL. And the iPhone 11 Pro Max did the best when it comes to CPU single cores thanks to that wonderful Hexacore A13 Bionic chip running the single core Lightning core over there. And it also got allocated the best GPU overall when running Metal API. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.